Hey everybody, Trova here, back for another episode of Elite Dangerous, and in today's episode we're going to be basically taking a look at the FSD boost and actually seeing it in action and seeing how it works with the galaxy map, and also just a little bit of combat with a build I've been working on for the Corvette. And uh, this build is monstrous. Just just scary as all hell. Like, this, this ship is scary, and scary good. Now one thing I've noticed with the FSD boost is that if you have it enabled, the plan route function doesn't really work around it. You have to manually kind of get around the system, so to speak, to get it to work right. You can't really just say, alright, plot route, and it goes, oh, okay, your first boost is going to be amplified, but your second boost isn't, so I will plot your route accordingly. It doesn't work like that, for whatever reason or another. I think that's something that they need to improve upon. As far as FSD boosts go, I think they're a little, or very uncommon, and I think that they're nowhere near common enough to find. Um, they're actually quite a pain to find. It took all this time in beta to get enough materials to do what I'm doing now. I haven't used one yet. And I was kind of hoping that there would be some sort of like special jump animation for using FSD boost, but it doesn't appear to be so. Just that sound when you go ahead and add the injection. So let's see here, who has the biggest ship? Whoever has the biggest ship dies. <laughs> That's all this ship is really good for in this configuration is fighting large ships, and it does so very, very well. 
So in a conflict zone and everything else like that, this thing is just a monster. This is a really good ship to get you to elite in combat if you haven't got there already. It's really the only big ship that I would recommend for the task, to be honest. But again, driving home the point, this ship is definitely a warship. It is so pointable. You can use any combination of weapons you want on this thing. gone ahead and done this in a uh, another conflict zone. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording at the time. But this ship, the cutter, uh, not the cutter, but the Corvette, can kill another Corvette in seconds. Which is just insane. If you strip their shields completely in a really quick burst and then ram them, they die instantly. 
literally in like 10 seconds you can kill a full bug with this setup. This isn't exactly the best example, it's just one I have. Keep in mind that the ships that you're seeing that I'm fighting against are outfitted much like a player would outfit them. And they're using armor and better than the best shields and everything else. If this thing showed up on a trader anaconda, for example, it's over. <laughs> Give up the cargo because it's not like before when you could just ignore them, put four pips in the shields, and then jump away. Even low wake. This thing will mass lock an anaconda, so you can't low wake anymore. It'll kill you long before you're able to charge up your FSD for a low wake. And if you high wake, it might still be able to kill you before you can high wake away. This ship is... scary. So if you get pulled over by a pirate in one of these things and you're in an anaconda, stop and negotiate.
And alas, fragment cannons being as they are, I ran out of ammo pretty quickly. So they're not really good for PvE in any real regard, but they are certainly a lot of fun and they're definitely amazing in PvP. But the ammo count is definitely sufficient for PvP encounters, and still being able to have ammo ammunition left over, but they're really useless outside of that. So I would like to see more ammo for the fragment cannons, and the railguns for that matter. That way they can be used outside of PvP. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you for watching this episode of Elite Dangerous, and hopefully you have a new appreciation for the Corvette. This ship is a monster, and I'm definitely going to be getting one. This kind of reminds me of the Python of old. And that's saying something. But really, on that note guys, I'll catch you next time. Peace.